Hi, it's Antoine, your business concierge for the downtown district. I'm on site here at the brand new Collier's office at 48 East Flagler with a local street artist who, uh, whose name and reputation far exceeds uh, himself. So we're going to get straight to the interview and also discuss this new and exciting space here at 48 East Flagler and about the new life and new opportunities that are taking place in downtown. First, uh, why don't you give us a little background about who you are, your art, and your medium, um, and how your art uh, sort of ended up in this space here. For sure, for sure. Uh, well, my name is David Rasagasti. I go by Aho, Aho Sips Blue, or Aloysius Sangoma. Um, I do art in many different mediums, primarily what people know me for is uh, murals with all the eyeballs and stuff all over Miami. Um, I do a bunch of different stuff from filmmaking to animations to putting out a book, just any creative medium is all I can do. Okay. Um, Mika is awesome, she's a good friend. All right. Sai is awesome and they, through their linkage and friendships, uh, they put me down with different stuff and I'm glad to be shown here in this new space here. All right, can you tell me a little bit more about the eye? Like you said, we see it all over yeah. Miami. I'm a Chicago kid, right? And uh, I moved down to Florida lived on the West Coast for a little while, I came over to Miami, so I have a natural gravitation appreciation for uh, urban art, and one thing I saw immediately when I, my feet touched ground here was like the eye was everywhere, so tell me about how that sort of developed, and how it's finding its way more and more to what was typically received as private spaces. Yeah, um, well the eye is basically like a, it's a very strong symbol to begin with, it's been used for ever for many different civilizations, and stuff like that, but I mean, my usage of it, uh, it primarily comes from characters that I do. Uh, they all have that type of style of drawn eye, and when you see it as a pattern, it's pretty much like a simplification of that. It represents the people, the struggle, the hustle, and it's all over because that's what I do. I put myself all over the place. I dabble in the fine art world just as much as I dabble in the street stuff, so, um, you can see it inside galleries, inside offices, on the streets, in downtown LA. Hey man, I'm excited. I'm excited about art, I'm excited about what's happening in downtown. Uh, hopefully we can see more of your installations during our art days that is uh, around the corner. If you're not familiar with art days, hopefully we can get some of your uh, work uh, plugged into our, our circuit. But, uh, yeah, hey okay. man, thank you. Oh, man, thank you, dude. All right. Thank you. Love with everything. You guys are awesome. So I have the pleasure now of speaking with Zai Davis, the designer of this awesome space here at 48 East Flagler Street. Zai, can you tell me what uh, sort of your thinking, your, your, your mechanics, your, how how'd you do what you did here? I mean, literally, I walked by one day, came back another day, and magic happened. So just explain to us, you know, your, your, your thoughts into the concept, uh, your passions about downtown. Uh, um, well, I've worked with Mika before, and she was at One Flagler. And that was when she was first downtown, and um, we used Abel's art there too, yeah. as well, like a white on white background. And she called it her womb in downtown. Okay. So I wanted to create a womb. She needs plants and life, and she moved to Brickell, and I was like, come back! I hate going to Brickell. I don't want to visit you at work ever. And so now she's downtown, and everybody's stopping by, and it's art, and it's plants, and right. it's the inside, outside. and. You know, her thing is, her company is the urban core division yes, yes. of Collier's Real Estate. So I wanted it to be bringing Miami's downtown back to life, which is what she's passionate about. You know, I think you're very successful. You said something about inside, outside. This space has very large windows and it invites right. so much light. But what I've noticed is people pass by, it, it just draws them in, even if they don't enter the office. I'm just sort of amazed how people, it almost feels like I'm in a museum. You know, <laughs> well, it's, well like we live exhibit. in paradise, and it kind of like looks yeah. like paradise. And I'm adding layers. This is phase one. It did. It took a week okay. to get like a rock garden, two and a half tons of rocks got yeah. delivered, plants, art, you know. And it's Mika likes to work with people who are on the street level and spray painting walls. And you'll walk <laughs> down the street, and like diamond dealers are like, "Yo, Mika," you know, because she started like at the bottom, and now she's. Here. <laughs> hey, that's, that's the magic of Miami. Specifically, right. that's the magic of downtown. It takes, if you put the right energy and focus, I've seen very great uh, things happen, uh, develop here. So what's your next project in terms of uh, downtown happening? 
Um, well, I, I don't know what I'm going to be doing next in downtown. Maybe the Manhattan building. Okay. I submitted something to DDA, the, the drawings for that okay. historic building um, several years ago, and now it's coming to fruition. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, the, the project at 137 North Miami Avenue. Yes. And North Miami Avenue is definitely on my radar as places to, uh, to put all of my energy and attention to. So thank so you. I'm sure we're going to have it. Uh, for uh, new opportunities to collaborate. So we'll stay in touch. Thank you. Thank you so much.